had a cube number day for a while. Here we are on day 27. Let's have a look. Okay, now you might need to do a little bit of Googling to find out um, the answer to one of the parts of these questions, or perhaps you could ask your parents or your grandparents. It's not something that I think we know anymore, commonly. Anyway, let's have a look at the question. So, question 27a. We want what multiple of 13 are we talking about? So, it's a three-digit number, it's a multiple of 13, and it's palindromic. Remember, that means it's the same forwards and backwards. And the sum of its digits is the number of fluid ounces in a pint. So that's the fact that you might not know. You might need to ask somebody. Ring your grandparents, ask them. We want the number of fluid ounces in a pint. And then for part B, again, it's three digits and it's a multiple of 13. And it's palindromic. But this is very interesting. The sum of its digits is also palindromic. So I think that's a really, really nice question. So we want a number that's the same forwards or backwards. And when we add up its digits, we get a number which is palindromic. I think that's a really, really nice question. So best of luck. Can't wait to see your solutions.